These days, we've gotten to the point that reviews like Gamers Nexus, I'm sorry to call you out, they don't even show the gaming performance. And gaming, we're actually going to skip. When comparing two graphics cards of the same GPU, I can't really blame them. Nvidia and AMD have pretty much locked down what board partners can do to their cards. So they're all performing about the same. But I got two 3080s right here, and I'm gonna tell you that these things are not the same. This is a Zotac Ampolo 3080, and this is the Asus Tough 3080. This is a flagship card from Zotac, and this it's a bottom tier card from ASUS. If you know anything about RTX 3080 models, then you know this ASUS tough card is a real underdog. It is undoubtedly one of the best 3080s to ever release. And guess who bought one of the worst? <laughs> yeah. This Zotac one runs so hot that it almost has me running back to my GTX 1070 from six years ago. I was dumb. I trust the fact that this was a flagship card from Zotac and it just, it must be good. It must be the best one there is. I was scouring deals on eBay and I saw this one going for cheap and I was like, that's a deal. That's a deal. Take my money. Even though this still has a cooler, almost big enough to be a computer itself, it runs so hot that it has to max out its fans and throttle the clock speed just to keep itself alive. Coming in at 86 degrees, being at almost 50 decibels while working. It's ridiculous, really uncomfortable when this is right next to you the whole time you're at your desk. I've really tried to salvage it. I wanted to make the best of this thing. I mean, it, I bought it and I, I wanted to like it. So you might have saw it. In a recent video, I replaced the thermal pads and the thermal paste on this Zotac Ampolo card. And I found out didn't really change that much. The memory temperatures were about the same. GPU core dropped about three degrees. Now three degrees is not anything to like disregard, but it isn't worth taking apart your GPU. Like I really want to love it because the RGB on this card just looks so freaking cool. But it's flaws with being so loud and running so hot, having to throttle itself. You can't look into RGB and say, wow, this makes up for it. This makes me game so much faster that I need this. Oh shit. Yeah, there's like skins of Genji's like like where he's still human. Yeah. You know how like his fucking shurukens just pop out of his hands? How, yeah. How, <laughs> how, uh... Don't ask. <laughs> I don't know angry. how. <laughs> In comparison, the Asus Tough model, which I'm yet to fully test because I, I literally, I just got it today. And right now there's no graphics card in my computer and my graphics card's actually in guts sitting on my dresser right now because it's, I had to take these out. From reviews I've seen, this Asus Tough card can run up to 20 degrees cooler than the Zotac card while in performance mode. And when it's in silent mode, it can run up to 10 degrees cooler while running way quieter. And I bet you're wondering like, what, what the hell is performance mode? What is silent mode? Is it this Tough model? Even though it's a low-end card from ASUS, it has a BIOS switch. You can turn it on on performance mode to run louder and cooler, or you can turn it on quiet mode to run quieter and hotter. You can make that choice and you can just flip a switch to do it. It's so fast and so easy. This, this is not to be seen on a flagship model of card from Zotac, which feels bad. Now this isn't trying to dig at Zotac. I'm sure most of the time they do make really good cards. Like this one, this one did, did not hit. <laughs> Plus, the ASUS card has another HDMI port. And I'm just saying, that's a nice to have. You, I probably won't use an extra HDMI port, but having it, I'm not complaining. When you're deciding between board partner cards, you're not gonna be looking at the performance. It's just like how Gamers Nexus says, it, it's the same. Because it doesn't matter. The difference from one partner model to the next is a couple FPS at absolute best. When you're looking at board partner cards, you're looking at the quality of life features. How, how does the cooler perform? Are the fans like super loud? You want more RGB. I mean, this one's got hella RGB. Does your card need to be smaller? The Zotac one is a little bit smaller. Do you want a BIOS switch so you can quickly change how loud your card is or how much it's performing? Is the price a factor? I mean, let's, let's be honest here. Sometimes better cards do cost more. And uh, sometimes 
it just it's too costly i mean you're looking at maybe 100 200 dollars to get a higher end board partner card this one just had this asus tough bottle just happened to be one of the cheapest ones and it was amazing all of these things actually influence what card you're gonna buy and it's personal to you don't get fooled like I did. Just because it's expensive and premium looking and sounding, well not sounding, it doesn't mean it's good or meets what you actually want. So if you're looking to buy a new graphics card right now, especially with AMD's 7,000 series cards, Nvidia's 4,000 series cards releasing, like massive amount of deals that are on used hardware, all the crypto miners gave out their cards. There's so many good deals in the used market right now. When you're looking at those things, you might wanna do your research. And I would especially recommend watching reviews on certain graphics cards because that's where you'll see the most real world performance. Um, I'm not promoting my own channel with this because I don't have the money to buy so many freaking graphics cards. Those people are crazy. Because in the end, you need to be happy with what you buy, especially when these cards cost so freaking much. There's great deals out there, but it's still 550 bucks. That's a big investment. And if you're paying that much money, you should be happy with what you're getting. Now, I'm just gonna say like having two 3080s on my table right now makes me feel like an absolute baller. <laughs> Even though I'm just gonna sell this one soon. We're disregarding that. Ho I hope that this video helps you and you can pick out the card that you specifically want and do your freaking research, you big dum dum. Don't get hyped in when you see all these deals on eBay or you see a card on sale. Do your research. Okay, just the way it looks doesn't tell the whole story. Just because it costs a lot of money doesn't mean it's the whole story. Another quick example I want to throw out is there's another model of three 3080s. Um, it's the Aorus Extreme and the Aorus Master. Those are the top end cards from Gigabyte. Very expensive and they're massive. They're four slot cards. So you think this is a chonky boy? This has another slot on it. It's like huge. It's so big that it has a freaking display on it. It has a little TV. It's like, oh, this is so big we can put a TV on it. That card actually didn't even perform that well, especially how much you're paying for it. I hope that this helps you really critically look at your next buying decision and that you're gonna be happy with what you get. So good luck to you. Go get them. Go, go get them. Go do it. You got I'm a demon in disguise, do a deal for you. I would sell my fucking soul cause I feel for you Didn't know what I lost, I've been looking for you Yeah, counting all these bottles that I pour for you From the place that you're in, I'm surprised if you heard me I was stomping on your grave, ain't surprised if you cursed me I know I jumped the gun, I was putting up a front Cause I wouldn't get no love